Hi all. Today I will show you how to connect your Linux machine using Putty. So what is Putty? Putty is a software which allow us to connect to the Linux machine from your Windows machine. So require a term, uh, we require a software. We use Putty for that. So to download a Putty, I will open a Google Chrome and the website is putty.org. Okay. Download Putty here. I will click here. My system is 64 bit. I already shown you how to check that. Window R MS info32.exe. System summary page is showing x64. Okay. So in this way, you can check your system is 64 bit or 32 bit. So mine is 64 bit. So I will download this one MSI. Okay. It's getting downloaded over here. I will is download done I will execute this click on next yeah C drive program file putty correct install yes okay I don't want to do read me file finish okay now put is in my system and here is my virtual box Red Hat 7 is running on this okay password here if you can see Mine IP is 192.168.0.26. So I am minimizing this and I will open a putty P U double T Y putty here. I will type IP 192.168.0.26. Okay, open login as root password of that root user. Okay, I am connected. So I am keeping this terminal here. Right click on this new session. Now I am going to some setting of this 192.168.0.26. Okay. So I am removing this old session what I have. Delete. 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 Okay. This is a, my IP of the server. If you want to enable the logging, it will um, create a log file, whatever command you are uh, executing using this putty, it will going to save in this putty.log, okay, if you enable that. So it's saying none, uh, all session output. So whatever command I will get execute, so it will get recorded in this, okay. If you want to browse this, it's in documents, okay. Then we will go appearance. Is showing cursor cursor I don't want to change cursor point and this font and point okay I am changing a font so click on change I want to do bold and size of that is 14 okay and if you want to change this you can change this but I don't want to change is up to you okay so font will be changed behavior I don't want to change color foreground color currently foreground is white and background is black but if you want to do foreground click on modify foreground is black okay and uh, default background is currently back so i'm doing white okay just replacing that connection then data auto login username if you want to use the same username every time so you can pass here so it will use by default root okay i don't have any proxy telnet ssh is not required for me okay when we use a key system we have to pass the key over here but currently we are not using any key okay and this is a serial we are not changing anything here okay we are back in this so if you want to save this session key every time it will take the session this just give a name uh, home server and save it so it's here so next time you don't need to type IP anything just see so if you want to see uh, currently I'm opening this okay 
so i will use putty p u w t y and i will open my save session i don't want to type ip again so i will show home use home server and click on open see i don't want to type username is directly prompting me a password of that root user so font change background color change foreground color change okay and this way you can change it and save the session for next time onwards okay we can execute command okay then to exit it we can type exit exit done or so now i will open control c control d again i will open putty and we will see logging is there any logs in documents oh there is no document presentation Okay, so I have saved setting. So this putty app opening this home server logging is enabled. I am doing enable. I am going to save this in a documents. I already created putty dot log file. So path is here. Okay. Session. This one open. Yes, login is enabled. Root. Use a password of that root user ls hyphen l now i will do pwd and uptime df hyphen h these are the command i will explain you later but is just for showing you the logging process okay so we'll go to documents put it dot log let's open this see the login then it prompt for password here we enter twice then ls hyphen l command i executed over here then pwd uptime and df hyphen h so if you want to create a document uh, using this if you want to save any setting like you are performing some critical activity and for the next time onwards you want to make a document or you want to save the command you can start enabling uh, this enable this logging then it will logs every command and the output of that command it will capture whole screen and all the commands in this so in that way you can create this and use this for further okay 
so this is a way you can use it so what you can do you can stay uh, logging okay our terminal you can change the sound of this but we don't use appearance you can change the font and color of that uh, screen behavior you have a connection and the connection you have data auto login like i have mentioned root so it automatically taking a root user if i type amit it will take automatically amit okay and we can save session over here like i have saved this so no need to type again and again ip and port is 22 always because linux system is get connected over port number 22 okay so don't change is this port number i will tell you that these things later it will come to your course so today's session is for putty session only so that's over for today uh, see you in the next video with the we will use putty and rhl7 all the things okay so thanks all goodbye